Hello my friends and welcome back to Fallout 3. In yesterday's video we did end our day still in Oasis working on the quest Oasis where I need to decide what to do with our friend Harold from Fallout 1 and 2 I still think. But anyway before I make that decision I wanted to finish talking to everybody here. Hello. Hey. Let's talk welcome to Tree Father Birch. Welcome to Oasis. Yes. Yes outsider what is it? Okay, so I have some questions about the task you gave me. No, actually, let's ask about the tree minders, because he's the one who supposedly started it. Of course. We're quite open about everything here. Okay, how did the tree minders begin? When I first beheld the glory of the Great One, I knew there'd be others who would seek to do him harm. I also knew he would be calling others that he felt were pure of heart to protect him. Right then and there, I created the Tree Minders, the Great One's last line of defense. How do the Tree Minders normally handle other outsiders? If the outsider doesn't have his blessing, we simply deny him entry to our home. Oh. If they persist on trying to gain entry or display any hostile act that could potentially harm the Great One, we take action. If the outsider were a raider or some other nefarious type, we ensure they don't report our location back to their comrades. So you, you kill them probably. Could I become a tree minder? Becoming a disciple of the Great One takes many years of dedication oh. and the will to cast aside <laughs> your reliance on technological conveniences. However, I feel you've been sent here for a higher purpose and could be more instrumental in our future than a mere tree minder. I like how between like him and his wife, they both have a great explanation as to why Mabel can't become a tree minder. <laughs> Your names are quite strange. What do they mean? The first part of our name represents our role in the tree minders. The youngest are the saplings, still learning what it means to live in Oasis. The branch tenders, are our guardians and keep our home safe. Our healers and soothsayers are known as bloom seers. Finally, the tree father and the leaf mother are the creators and the upholders of the great one's laws. Ask us something else. Go on. Okay, is this place, if this place has living plants, does that mean the water is safe to drink? I'm afraid the water still bears the mark of man's greed. It's his reminder of what we once were. Perhaps one day, he will see fit to lift this punishment. But I fear we have yet to command his full respect. But how does everything grow green then? Or is it kind of radiated green, you know? I have questions about the task you gave me. By all means, ask away. Why don't you just travel to Harold's heart on your own? I would if I was able, but he will not allow us entry. His roots bar the door, and we have yet to earn the right to pass. Were you aware that Laurel gave me this liniment? Of course I am. I know everything that goes on in Oasis. Laurel is free to pursue whatever path she chooses. A long time ago, it was agreed that the Tree Father and the Leaf Mother hold equal say. I don't seek to change those customs. I just hope when the time comes, you'll make the right choice. Where did the sap come from? Bloomseer Poplar has a unique understanding of the innate power that lay dormant in the plants you see around you. She created the sap with the knowledge she brought to us from the wasteland. Huh. Where is the entrance to the caves? You'll find the entrance in the southwestern part of Oasis. Okay. Go. Any information you could give me on the caves below Oasis would be helpful. Just like a cancer would infest our bodies, the caves below us are infested with vermin. Awesome. You'd do well to be cautious down there. We've lost a few tree minders in the past. Okay, bye. Have no fear, outsider. I know you'll make a wise decision. Hello. Branch tender Linden. Rebel outsider, you are under his protection. You're a guest among us and quite welcome, outsider. I'm gonna ask you more questions. You have more questions for me, perhaps? Yes. What's your opinion 
of the tree father birch and leaf mother laurel lately things have gotten a bit worse between them it sometimes takes months for them to agree on things i know they love each other greatly but i'm afraid the strain of leadership is tearing them apart hi may the sap of his wisdom sustain you thank you let's talk to the little girl one more time hiya What's your opinion on Tree Father Birch and Leaf Mother Laurel? They're the best parents ever. Okay, they're your parents. Bye. May the great one. So it's really just the five of you. I thought there was one other lady. Is she still outside? Or did she head back outside, maybe? Here she is. All right. Cast aside your bits of technology and marvel at his miracles, outsider. Okay. Yes, what can I do for you on this beautiful day? Tell me about your god. He is the Great One, the Tree Father of Tree Fathers. There is no greater being in the world than he. I've dedicated my life to protecting this place from the outside world. And I will never fail in that duty. Hmm. How'd you end up here? I was brought here by his will. I heard his calling. Did you? And I followed. I believe only a few are worthy enough to find this place. And I'm honored to be among them. That's why I dread the day Oasis overgrows its boundaries. I don't see that it matters much. Oasis is off the beaten path as it is. Stop being so selfish. You people should share this place with everyone. Yes, it would be dangerous letting the wasteland know where Oasis is located. Uh, middle one? I suppose so. But you found it. Barely. How many others will stumble across Oasis? Will they be friendly? Probably not. I'm worried, outsider. I'm truly worried. Yeah. Uh, remind me again how you found Oasis? I was brought here by- Yeah, you brought her by as well. What did you have to do to become a tree minder? I had to accept the ideals of Tree Father Birch and cast away my dependence on technology. What's your opinion of a Tree Father Birch and Leaf Mother Laurel? I think this place would be lost if it weren't for them. There's no telling what fate may have befallen the Great One if someone like the godless raiders had gotten here first. Okay, bye. I trust we'll speak again, outsider. I don't know which one to do. It, it, it should, it, it'd be nice if the Oasis could spread and help revitalize the wasteland. Yes, it will be bad because raiders would likely take over this place because it is beautiful and serene as it is right now. But then you've also got Harold, who doesn't want to have to live in this misery any longer. Revel outsider. Ah, outs- yeah, Can I have the key to the caves? Sure. Here you go. Good luck to you. Okay. Good Goodbye. I've got the key. Whoa, as I walk right into a bunch of trees. Is that everybody? I feel like there's somebody here I haven't spoken to. Welcome, Outsider. Branch Tender Welcome Linden. It's very nice to meet you, Outsider. I'm Branch Tender Linden. Hi. I'm tell me about your god. Well, I'm not so sure the Great One is a god. I mean... I don't believe in that sort of thing. <laughs> However, I am beginning to realize he's special. Something greater than any of the creatures in the wasteland. Uh, what's your opinion? No, no, no. How did you end up here? I was found dying in the wastes not far from here by a trader caravan. They knew about this place and brought me to Bloomseer Poplar. She nursed me back to health and I've stayed ever since. Dying, how awful. What happened to you? I was a Brotherhood of Steel outcast. Oh. We had a deep patrol out here looking for some tech, and they got jumped by some death claws. They shredded everyone else and left me bleeding to death. If it wasn't for Oasis and Bloomseer Poplar, I'd be dead right now. Honestly, I've never seen anything like this place. It's beautiful. It's a shame only a few people will ever get to see it. It's crazy how he, Brotherhood of Steel and their collection of technology you know kind of mantra and he gave it all up and now he's just one with the trees and whatnot um what did you do to become a tree minder 
I sort of fell into it, I guess. I woke up here and I just stayed. After a while, I became one of them. Okay, what's your opinion of Tree Father Birch and Leaf Mother Laurel? I've only known them for a very short time, but when I first arrived, they immediately took me in and treated me just like a son. There aren't many people in the world left like that. There aren't. Any information you could give me on the caves below Oasis would be helpful. Oasis is located near what used to be an old mining town before the bombs fell. When the attack started about 200 years ago, many people took shelter in the natural caves that dotted the area. The old gate that stands at the mouth of Oasis Cave is the last piece of architecture from those days. Hmm. There isn't much more to the story. May the Great One bless you. Thank you. To Oasis. All right, now I feel like I've talked to everybody. Hello. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Poor Harold. I feel like I don't want to. I'm I'm concerned that if I kill Harold, then this whole place will just become nothing. But can I destroy his heart and everybody else still be okay? Are all the other trees still be okay? I I have concerns. Just poking around to see if there's anything. Hollow tapes or anything <laughs> along those lines that I can use to kind of give me a better idea of what I want to do. I'm leaning towards sharing it with the whole wasteland, but I don't want Harold to be miserable. You know, poor guy. But then you have the little girl who's like, you're Harold's a guest her... among us and quite welcome outside. Harold's her best friend and I feel bad that she would be sad and all those things. Okay, so let me get out a weapon. I've got the Black Hawk right now. I don't think I need a Gatling ra laser razor. Um, we'll get out the SMG because I have so much ammo. Use the key and go into the caves below. Oh, it looks like red roaches. A data local map. Save stim pack just in case. Dead branch tender. I might take a robe. <laughs> I mean, okay, the, the trees aren't growing out of them. They're growing out of the robe. They have absolutely zero protection and value at all. Okay, let me put on some rad X. Awful. Yeah, we're just gonna keep reloading so I don't have shoot him in the face. In the face. seen my mysterious stranger friend in a while. Oh, that reminds me, before I forget, I've got books that I wanted to read. Pugilism. Get my unarmed skills up, you know. <laughs> okay, where am I? Oh, there's a, there's a guy. There's a guy over there. He's, he's a little broken. It's alright. Gonna take advantage of it. That's 
not the way I go. Oh, the way I go is probably down, it looks like. Okay. Save! Oh no. Oh! Mer Ma Meryl. Mabel's very dramatic when she, um, when she dies in the water from drowning. I know that from experience of Point Lookout. Why are we unable to hit the roach? Right there. A exploded. I mean, they, their skeletons just kind of grew into everything around here. All sorts of yuck. Oh, now we're going into this sunken chamber. Wow, this tree really did, you know, just grow everywhere. Like, way far away everywhere. Good job. It's not where I need to go, so let's go up here and see what's happening. Somebody's little survival area. I was gonna try to take the darts. I don't need the book. Oh, sorry, sir. I will take your rounds. There's a stealth boy, silence pistol. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm walking on your person. He had crutches too. Oh, poor guy. What is that? There's a lawnmower, you know, just in case you need to mow your lawn. I was like, is he gonna make it up out of the water? No, he's not. Anybody else coming up? There's a Meyer Alert King. Should I go? Let's go left. Oh, it's a dead end anyway. I hear creatures. Missile. Purified water. But he was just walking around with a missile. No missile launcher, just a missile. There's the tree. to do? Maybe going over this way, maybe? There we go. Harold's heart. Okay, let's save before I go any farther. 
You found Harold's heart. Destroy Harold's heart. Apply Birch's sap to stop Harold's growth. Apply Laurel's liniment to accelerate Harold's growth. See, I think it would be nice to do Laurel's liniment to be able to grow their oasis because it's not like it's going to overtake the wasteland tomorrow, but it'd be a nice start to a better future, maybe? I can't stop it as well. No! No, I can't! And I can't even shoot it! Oh, no! Let's go all the way back out, I guess, and talk. Do I have to really go the long way? Is there no other way out of here? There isn't any other way out of here. I kind of, I, I, I feel bad for Harold. But let's see how all this goes. And then maybe I can try the different endings and see which one I like best. Okay, I'm back at the door to the oasis. So let's see how all this goes. Something here is different. I can feel it. I've just seen Tree Father and Leaf Mother Laurel enter the grove. This worries me. Oh no! What have I done? The grove is over this way. Let's see. How did everybody how does everybody react to this? You've done a great deed this day, my friend. The gifts the Great One has bestowed upon us will now take mere decades to breach the confines of Oasis instead of centuries. I was glad to do it. Oasis needs to be shared with the world. I could have used a pile of caps instead, but whatever. Uh, first one. In your short visit here, I can see you've learned much. That's a rare gift in these turbulent times. I believe there are a few tree minders who wish to speak to you before you depart. I think you'll find their appreciation quite rewarding. Good luck in all your journeys, my friend. I hope your time here has opened your heart as well as it opened your eyes. Oh my god, completed the quest. Oh, Harold, are you okay? So. It looks like you decided to do things their way, huh? How come? You've become an important part of their life without you. They're lost. I'm not killing you. You're obviously crazier than they are. Why would I listen to you? First one, maybe? So, they really need me that badly, huh? Yeah, I guess I never thought of it that way. Awfully selfish of me. Oh. Should we give him another chance, Herbert? <laughs> fine, fine. I mean, <laughs> Bob. I still think it's funny when I call him Herbert. <laughs> What's with all the names, Bob, Herbert, and Harold? I don't get it. Let's try. I'm, I'm glad he seems to not be like angry and accepting that he is an important part of their lives. So maybe, maybe Harold is okay with this. Let's start with the first one though, uh, with, with all of these. Okay. Okay, L let me talk real careful for the slow folks. Oh, I must be a slow folk. I was once a man a long time ago named Harold. Yes. Something in me changed and a weird little tree started growing right out of my head. It kept getting bigger until I ended up stuck inside. When people would ask about it, I decided to name it Bob. You know... Like a friend or something. Okay. Sometimes I call him Herbert instead of Bob because I get bored and I think it's funny. <laughs> so 
Long story short, call me Harold. Okay, Harold. About those tree minders. <laughs> no, don't get me started on them. I'm liable to talk about them all day. It even drives poor old Bob crazy. But but I but I like it when you talk about them all day. Have you ever asked one of them to kill you before? Uh, they wouldn't listen to me at all. I told them something simple, then it got done. Otherwise, Birch spent a week looking for a hidden meaning. <laughs> Plus, he used to just pop in whenever he wanted and started chanting this nonsense. <laughs> Sometimes I used to just sit there silently just to make <laughs> him mad. <laughs> that was fun for a while. <laughs> Hopefully this will all change now that things are different. Thanks to you. Yeah, I never did talk to Harold before I went into the underground area. I probably should have done that, but it seems to be going okay so far. How did the tree miners normally handle outsiders? Oh, <laughs> you wouldn't believe how they handle them. They make them drink this gunk that Poplar makes. Yeah, I, I had to do Sometimes that. Sometimes they just go nuts start running around and sometimes when they wake up and see me they run for the hills <laughs> I'll tell you outsiders are almost as entertaining as the tree minders <laughs> Which tree miner do you get along with the best? Actually, Aww. the kid is the nicest one of all. Use her name. She sneaks in here sometimes and just lets me talk about stuff I want to talk about. <sighs> Bob really likes her, too. Because she makes me happy. Oh. <laughs> Talk about something else. <laughs> okay. Um, I've got to go now, apparently. Come back and visit me sometime. Okay. I probably won't, but okay. Oh, I'm glad I went with this choice. It all seems to be going well so far. But she said to come out here and talk to people who might give me a reward, and I'm all about the reward. Hello again, outsider. Hi. Goodness, it's wonderful to speak to you again. You said someone had gifts for me? Yes, I believe Branch Tender Linden, Bloom Seer Poplar, and my little you mentioned they had some things for you as gifts. Oh. Such is our tradition when honored guests are preparing to leave. What will you do now? Rejoice in the knowledge that one day all the barren rock and sand of this dead wasteland will become vibrant with green once again. There's so much to prepare for. So much to do. Oh. Hi. Farewell, outsider. I like I like this choice. We I'm very happy to see you again, savior of Oasis. Thanks. Leaf Mother Laurel said you may have a gift for me? I somehow knew you'd be the one to make the changes that Leaf Mother Laurel desired. I helped to create the hoods that you see all tree minders wear. It's said that the cloth has a part of the Great One's spirit woven into the fibers. Okay. I present this to you as thanks. Wear this with pride and bring the message of renewal to all the corners of the wasteland. Poplar's hood added. What will you do now? Look to the future and seek the true meaning of what transpired here. If there's an answer out there somewhere, I'll find it. She'll find it. What do you see in my future? I see a great leader who 
whose message carries through time as a rallying cry to the oppressed and a warning to the oppressors. Please, I must rest a day's time before I can again see into the future. I find the experience quite draining. I'll be honest, I didn't know that was a thing that you did. May your spirit rest in his branches. <laughs> okay. And Help. Cyprus. What do you want? What will you do now? I'll do what I do best. I'll make sure Oasis never falls, even if it means my own death. Goodbye, outsider. Bye. Okay. I need to find the... Oh, here's the kid. Hey, my second best friend in the whole wide world. Awesome. I'm second best. I hear you may have a gift for me. Yeah, I think you're pretty swell for someone from out there. Thanks. And, and you were really nice to me, too. I was going to give this to my bestest friend, Harold, but he doesn't have pockets, the silly head. <laughs> this is a charm that my parents gave me for my fifth birthday. It's really neat. Take it. Use bear charm. Okay, what will you do now? I don't know. Maybe go play with Harold? I want to hear another one of his super swell stories. <laughs> My speech skill was increased by 10 points. And May the great one bless you. I'm already maxed out, so I don't know how that actually works. Stats, skills, um, speech. It says plus next to it. I don't know if that means that I'm getting extra of something. There was... Poplar, there was one other guy. Linden, I think she said. Oh, here's the, is this the great father? He's probably mad. What is it, outsider? What will you do now? Although his influence will spread through the wasteland one day, that day is still a long way off. Mm -hmm. For now, we'll remain ever vigilant and watch the wasteland for anything that could threaten this sanctuary. Bye. Goodbye, outsider, and good luck. Maybe the other guy is outside with the other lady, or maybe he's just right here. We Linden. Ah, uh, it's nice to have the pleasure of your company again. Thanks. Leaf Mother Laurel said you have a gift for me? I've never known someone to show as much caring as you did towards us. It seems to be rare to run into anyone like that anymore. That's partly why I never returned to my former life after I found myself in this place. Aww. Allow me to present a piece of my past to you, friend. Perhaps it will serve you better than it served me. Okay. Oh, I have his outcast power armor. What will you do now? I'll remain here and help in any way that I can. I owe them my life, and I intend to repay that debt until my last breath. Bye. May the sap of his wisdom sustain you. Let's check out this power armor. Items, apparel. The hood gives me perception and agility. And then big guns plus five, strength plus one, agility minus one, and rad resistance. Okay. I'm, I'm totally leaving my hat on though. Although we should look at, see what the hood looks like. Uh, Poplar's hood. Meh, no. Hat, for sure. Let's see. Um, DR is 21. Oh, my DR for my Ranger battle armor is still better. Okay, one last person to speak with. Or not. Where did she go? Ah, uh, outsider. Back again, I see. Yes. We welcome you always with outstretched arms. Cypress. It's good to see you again, outside. Ah, here she is. Maple. We welcome you always with outstretched arms. Yes, outsider. Whatever the tree father or leaf mother would have me do, I'm still theirs to obey. Okay. May your spirit rest in his branches. I'm happy with how this quest turned out. You know, the the trees are still gonna grow. Harold seems to understand that he's important, and you know, the little girl doesn't lose her friend, and he gets to still have it's his good friend. To see you again. I feel like that's a nice, you know, 
squishy, you know, good karma, happy ending. But I am going to pause things here today. But in tomorrow's video, I do want to go and work on head of state because that's the last side quest I have. And then after that, I want to go somewhere else that you guys have been mentioning in the comments a little bit, but we'll go work on head of state. Not sure how long it's going to take, but we'll at least start the process. Um, and then as usual, go from there. <laughs> so as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Fallout 3 video.